Also, during this process of inner work and our own inner healing, we can look for signs of that, okay? And signs that what we're doing and what we're integrating is actually working, okay? So when you notice that relationships are coming to an end, right, with people who are not aligned with your frequency and your vibration and, and your purpose and your path, right, those people are going to start falling out of your life. And we, we need to just let that happen, okay? Let that take its course and carry on, okay? Another thing, the universe will start talking to you because your energy becomes aligned and um, you become in sync, with the universe. So the universe will start to talk to you through signs and numbers, right? Um, synchronicities, uh, stuff like that. So keep your eyes out for that because you're creating your own reality and you're, you're co-creating with the universe. So that's another sign that your healing process is definitely coming along and it's working. Um, and if you feel out of place even more now than you did before, listen, the one thing that I can say about this is that if you feel like you don't belong here, right? And you feel like you're from another planet, because if you want to get technical, we really are. You didn't, you came here to make a new earth. You came here to, we didn't come here to fit in, right? We didn't come here to, um, we came here to stir things up, right? That's, that's the, the whole point of our Dharma and our mission, right? So, um, also, in your healing process, what will start to happen is you'll notice as these people fall away and out of your life, mentors, okay, people who are here to guide you now and to help you and assist you along this process are going to start coming into your life and into your journey, right? That's a beautiful thing because uh, especially as people who aren't as far along in this journey, we, we really do need some guidance and some uh, assistance and to learn as much knowledge about it as we possibly can, right? So to embrace those people who have decided to come into our timeline and into our lives at this at this exact point in time, right? Also, I wanted to talk about the importance of, like Pete said, holding the vision and the importance of that. Okay, so when we can hold something in our mind of an image, right? We have to hold it there and 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 have that there before we can bring it into fruition and really bring it to life in our actual reality, right? Not only that, but we have to have that feeling and the, um, the vibration from that feeling and emotion, right? We have to emit that from our being and our frequency, right? So those two, those two things go hand in hand. So holding the vision and the feeling of the wish fulfilled. So whatever it is that we are desiring, whatever it is that we wanna to bring to fruition in our reality, we really have to feel that. We have to embrace that emotional um, wish fulfilling feeling that we, that arises in us, right? When we think about what it is that we want as a wish fulfillment. And um, it's creating the optimal timeline when we do that, right? So um, we really have to believe the power of believing. I can't hit the, I can't um, talk about this enough because it's so important. When you believe, when you truly believe and you have that feeling inside of your heart and inside of your being that you can do something or that you can bring something to life or that you know you can do this or do that, it will manifest. It will come into fruition because you are you're creating that reality for yourself because you believe that you can do it. You're emitting that vibration and that frequency out into the matrix and you're working, co-creating with the universe. So um, you need to lock in that vision, lock it in. Don't let anything knock that, knock that off. Okay. Seriously, you have to lock that in, execute your wish fulfillment as best as you possibly can have like laser focus. Don't let anything interfere with your goals. Um, especially as 144 light workers, we all know what we came here to do. We all know our personal Dharma, right? So don't let anyone or anything knock you off your path. Okay. Um, Secondly, he touched on jumping on gratitude. Anything that brings you happiness, okay? Celebrate the little victories, okay? Because a lot of the time, the little victories hold the most significance, right? There's a lot of things in life like, you know, money, material things. This, they really, truly, they just don't matter, right? The memories, the moments, the, the things that bring us joy and, and the passions that we hold in our heart, right? And in our soul, those are the things that really matter the most. So when you can really harness those, embrace all those things that, that 
are so beautiful in this actual in this reality and in this life and we can show gratitude and feel that gratitude for all of those things that's that's very very important at this point um and also ignore the unwanted any energies that you feel that are coming into your sphere of concern block it out okay that too is just going to knock you off your course and we know what it's like to be knocked off and have to bring ourselves back out of that darkness right so really just ignoring anyone or anything that wants to try to intrude on that you've got this okay you've done this before you've you've practiced all of these things over the course of your lifetimes now's the time to bring it all into fruition and, and to practice it and um Another thing Pete touched on was people who don't have a vi have a vision they perish right because when you don't when you don't have a vision for your life and you don't have a vision for yourself as an own as your own individual person right you're giving away your power because that means you don't have you don't have vision you don't have a, a direction on where it is that you're wanting to go right so by finding that out for yourself and really holding that vision for yourself and for your life, you're taking control. You're taking control of your own destiny and you're taking control of who it is that you came here to be, right? And you're taking personal responsibility because at, at the end of the day, this is really a lot of what this is about is taking responsibility for one's own self, right? And mastering yourself and rediscovering who you are and transforming yourself into your highest most best self okay um so with that being said um i did want to touch on another thing i noticed someone had made a comment about um what's the next step for changing this world at this time i think right now we really need to focus on our own individuality and our own selves and what we can do within our healing process, uh, figuring out our own dharma and, and our own direction, okay? And collectively, everything will kind of fall into place. Um, that's the best way I can explain it because if we concern ourselves like with what we've been talking about outside of our sphere of concern, we really have to keep our focus within ourselves right now. Because if we all do that individually, right, the goal with the um, optimal timeline collectively, that all is going to kind of just manifest itself, right, and kind of just fall right into uh, into its own place in a divine timing and divine way, right? So um, what else do I have here? I really hope everyone's kind of trying to push themselves out of their comfort zones right now. It's a really good time to do that. Okay, so if there's anything that you've been wanting to do, but you have kind of just been in this fear-based state of, I don't know if I really want to do this, I can't do it, I might fail, I might fall, I don't know what I'm doing, just try, okay? you We don't have to prove anything to anyone, okay? We're here to for trial and error, okay? We're not here to be perfect. We're here to learn. We're here to take chances, right? So, and that's how you grow. Literally, it's how we grow is by putting ourselves and stretching ourselves into these uncomfortable places that we don't want to go. Because another end goal here is to get ourselves into this state of living from our heart space, right? Which makes us fearless. We don't want to exude any kind of fear. We don't want to feel any fear. That means we're, we're working from our mind, right? And we're trying to bring those two together. We want to dissipate any kind of fear-based emotions, okay? So by putting ourselves in these uncomfortable positions, um, whether it's, you know, doing something that you have been thinking about doing for a long, long time, just dive in. Whether it's making YouTube videos or, um, I don't know, just doing some kind of leadership uh, community work, um, anything along those lines, just dive in. Don't second guess yourself. It's in your heart and it's in your mind and your being for a reason because it's wanting to be expressed. It's wanting to come out and you have the paintbrush, right? You are the artist. So listen to that within yourselves and embrace that and allow that to come out because that's your, that's what you offer to the world 
is your own expression and, and what it is that's just wanting to pour out of you. So um, learn about yourself. Learn about what it is that wants to um, be expressed and, and the things that interest you. You know, sometimes you've just been putting things off on the back burner. Make, bring those to the forefront now, right? Make those a priority of things that you can start um, educating yourself on, right? And, and gaining knowledge on and kind of, you know, making new pathways for yourself. This is a beautiful time to integrate all of that. And um, you never know, you might just learn something new about yourself and that will help you evolve and grow. And who doesn't want that, you know? So that is all I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, enjoy your Sunday. Like I said, hit the subscribe button. Again, I'm really trying to grow my channel. I'm going to keep it kind of simple. I really just want to, want to share my wisdom, share my knowledge, and help guide as best as I possibly can because I'm here to serve the most beautiful tribe in the world. And I'm also here to guide anyone who is just seeking assistance in this whole process. So I will talk to you guys later and I will see you in my next video.